Okay, well, I guess Selena died. Yeah, I guess so. so. Uh, this is going to be a, a version of what's in our sacks. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, like what Pogo said, this is uh, another endeavor of what's in our sacks. We uh, journeyed over to a nice little place called Rocket Number no. 9 on 50 North Front Street, Kingston, New York. And uh, it's a little uh, music store. store, you know, yeah, a little record store. They got records and some shirts, some CDs, some shirts, some, shirts. some chat, a tracks, yeah, so and some vinyl. So a Kiss a track in there, rocking all over. This guy in kicks. Where, hey. What is it with you on kicks? I'm obsessed. What can I say? Are there any kids fans out there? Write comments if you hate kids. And tell James to go fuck himself and his crazy broad too. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's wondering, you know, if James disappears soon. Well, I thought only his legs were in his bed today. <laughs> I was that was a whole me there. That probably would have been the case if she came in. Possible. Alright, so let's get the show on the road. Yeah. So who's going first? Let's not uh, talk about James. James we're gonna let we're, we're we're gonna let James go first since so she probably won't be with us much longer. <laughs> since I may not be with you much longer. Okay. So it's in my sack, right? Oh, I'm up there. He started seeing it. I said that. Well, I was there, and uh, for those who saw my shirts, my Ozzy Osbourne Ultimate Sin shirt, I went and I bought this vinyl right here. Ozzy Osbourne, the Ultimate Sin. And it continues on the back there. What are some of the tracks on there? Some of the tracks are Lightning Strikes, Killer of Giants, Thank God for the Bomb. Not sure how the hell to say that one. Never. Are you sure that's not a D? You say never? No, that's an N. Uh, never. Yeah, no, never. Okay. Shot in the dark. Ultimate sin. Secret loser. Never know why. Fool <laughs> like you. We've got Ozzy, Jakey Lee, and I got help. I can't read the other okay. Phil Salsana or Randy Costello. This album came out the year I was born. 1986. Nice. And it's in great shape too. So I'm probably going to end up framing this one. And so we're going to take a look here. at some of his records uh, later, later on. We're going to make another video. Like the one and, that we did uh, for Pogo. Before. My friend Pogo here, he spotted this. Kiss bootleg. I'll go the camera a little bit. Yeah, Kiss bootleg here. There's no barcode on that one. It's got no barcode. I think it was made by fans. Uh, got it for five bucks. What does the price tag on the front say? Is there an original price tag? Uh, the price tag on the front was twenty one ninety nine, and I got for five bucks. Because uh, the Pogo's spotting it there for me. And I also He's good at that. He gets in the shit. And I'm catching a lot of shit for this one. But it's me. And I like this band. The Darkness. Oh, One way ticket to hell and back. I believe in your It's coming out like peaceful. I don't know if there's any Darkness fans out there, but I know I like them. So I grabbed that one. Alright. And then I went, we went over to Rhino Records and I picked up Mataka, Cliff and Mall, for seven bucks. I told him we had to get that one too. Oh yeah, as soon as I saw this, I'm like, yeah, I that, definitely was that had the to get same, that. Was that the same as the, the SOD Live in Blue Yeah, Get yeah. the fuck out. Yeah. That's what I picked up today. That's what was in my sack. See, I'm, I'm not a bad, I'm not a bad landlord. I like... Influence. 
I make him buy stuff that's cool or else he gets kicked out. <laughs> Alright, so who's next? Me? Yes, how about you? Yeah. yeah. You you stuff. Stuff. That's an interesting story. Come on, Alright. Shorty. 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 So the first, the first thing I got was at that um, place that James was just talking about. What was it called again? Uh, Rocket, Rocket nine, number 9. Uh, Rocket number 9. Rocket number 50 9. 50 North okay. Street, Dixon, New York. <laughs> so, I got this. Van Halen 3 box, which is pretty cool. It's a tin box. It's got like uh, flash cards in it. Oh wow. I didn't even see what was in there. So, I picked that up for 7 bucks. I figured that had to be kind of rare. I never saw it. Yeah. It's heavy. And then, uh, I'm not going to say where I picked this next one up at. You got a sticker in there, too. Hmm. There's a CD in there. Well, I hope there's a CD in there. Well, for fuck's sake, there better be. <laughs> well, I don't know if you checked for food. The next one, I'm not going to say where I got it from. But, uh, it's pretty cool, too. <laughs> The next one I picked up was a, a Slayer Undisputed Attitude, but and I don't know if you can see what it says on the cover there. What does it say? It says, for promotional use only, sale or other transfer is prohibited and must be returned by, on demand to the recording company. So, this undisputed attitude was a promotional item and was never supposed to be for sale. And That's I, illegal. I picked it up for yeah, like five bucks. <laughs> and the next one I picked up is a rare Nirvana single. Rare Nirvana single? Yeah. yeah. So that, that's cool. I got this one for five bucks. <laughs> and there's the tracks on it. I like the last track. Moist Vagina. Yeah. Like That's that. very who, politically who correct. Who doesn't like Moist Vagina? <coughs> even, I'm, I'm, like sure, I'm sure even the ladies out there like the Moist Vagina. Everybody should like that. Oh yeah, uh, tell your kids to leave the room. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Sorry kids, <laughs> Moist Sorry. Vagina. Probably kind of late. All right, so I know. All right. What you got? So, I got me a grilled cheese sandwich. Nah. <laughs> That's wonderful. What's that? How old the thing to pick up at a record store? Damn fucking metal. <laughs> the grilled cheese sandwich that plays music. So, same place, uh, Rocket Number Nine. We also went to Rhino Records, but. I think there's more interesting things over at uh, Rocket Number Nine. Red Rocket Rover. <coughs> One Red Rocket. <laughs> so at, at uh, Rhino Records, I picked up this um, this Van Halen, the original Van Halen, with uh, Running with the Devil and Eruption and uh, Jamie's Crying. I've actually been wanting to pick this up for a while now. But I just never did. Good so, good so this was for four ninety nine, and the inside it says seven ninety nine. So I don't know what that's about. But I sure as fuck wasn't gonna show that to him. Next up, from um, Rocket no, Rocket Number Nine. He hasn't been drinking yet. Okay. And I haven't been drinking yet. No, I haven't. Um, this is him sober. Poco found this for me. It's again, uh, again. 
It's two. It, it's two albums, two CDs in one, of obituary. Um, the end complete and world demise. I had never seen anything like this before. I do have world demise, but I do not have uh, the end complete. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, I had never seen uh, a, a double pack before. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe it's been a while since I've hunted for CDs, but you know, it's, it's pretty sweet. And I've been on kind of an obituary kick lately anyway, which I'm sure you guys kind of know. <clears throat> Next up, we have one that uh, James found. This is uh, Sloppy Seconds Knock Your Block Off, which I do have at home. And I showed on one of my CD collections, but it, it was sealed. I never opened it, so I figured I'd buy this one for only three bucks. That way I could open it up and listen to it. And now, drum roll please. The Holy Grail. <clears throat> this one Pogo found. Again. Again. <laughs> Behold the power of Lord. Now, some people out there might be saying, big deal, what the fuck is that? Some people may be saying, oh my god, you are one lucky motherfucker, because these are expensive and hard to find on even eBay. And as you know, you can find anything on eBay. This was $5. <laughs> and as you know, this is Jello Bifro from the Dead Kennedys. Vocals, while Al Jorgensen and Ministry play the music. I have The Last Temptation of Reed, and now I have The Power of Lard, thanks to Pogo. This is definitely uh, a rare, a rare hot item. Excellent buy. So. I have Pogo to thank for that. And ladies and gentlemen, these are what was in our sacks. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more videos. Um, like this video if you get a chance. And uh, we'll see you soon with uh, James's <coughs> collection. Hopefully we'll be nice and lit up by then. See you later.